Hello, I'm Brian Lowney and welcome to Fur, Fins, and Feathers. I started writing in 1994 and have produced a series of newspaper articles about pets uh, covering topics of relevance throughout the South Coast area. We have done stories about dogs, cats, iguanas, you name it, we've done it. And it's been a fun and interesting experience. So we're, today we're starting to branch out and we are doing a series on pets with, uh, for cable television here in Swansea, Massachusetts. Today we have two guests in the studio. We have Luke McMillan and his brother Logan McMillan. And both of these uh, young men exhibit champion quality Salukis and they do a, a myriad of other activities such as dock diving, lure coursing, and many other things that you're going to learn about today. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning. Very good. C could you, Luke, could you tell us how you started with dogs? Um, I first started out with dogs when, it actually started off when my mother had, she had a Saluki, a retired show dog, and she said, why don't we start showing? So I said, okay, and then I got my first dog, which is Jedi, and I showed him for, I think, what, close to a year, and then we, we used to alternate on who used to show him, and then we decided to get him a dog, and now we both we go all over the place, down from like uh, any shows from Massachusetts all the way up to Missouri for nationals, so it's, I, mean, we, I love doing it. Um, the dogs love doing it, especially because they get to do a lot of stuff like lure coursing and dock diving, and it's, it's amazing. So It's a fun sport. It is. And it's a family sport. It is. You've got yep. Dad involved. Dad, Ken McMillan, is involved. And uh, we have to credit Mom. Yes. Mom, Heather McMillan, is... She does, she does a lot of work. Yeah, she does. It's been a great experience, <laughs> but it's been a great and wonderful experience for both of you, for the whole family. Could you tell us about, you gentlemen just returned from Missouri. What did you do in Missouri? Um, so in Missouri, it was, we went to nationals. We go to nationals it's once a year up in, uh, it's at Perina Farms in Missouri. And um, it basically what it is is all the Salukis from all around the world come and show their dog and it's a, it's an all it's just salukis it's just a breed show and they come and they it's just competition to see who's the best saluki and um jedi did very well we also did lure coursing up there and um what, I, what else I mean, you did rally um, rally yes you also did we did sweeps confirmation futurity those types of things and so there were loads of contests there was yes. a lot of Throughout competition. The week. A lot of competition. It was really too. hard. <laughs> and but th these Salukis came from all over the world, yes. didn't they? Yes. Yes, they did. We had one girl who's coming from New Zealand, so and then we have people coming from Florida, and there's even some people that are close to us that live in Rhode Island that come too. So it's just it's just so a it's great a global. Yes. It's really an international it competition. Is. And you've learned a lot. I have. I've learned. I've. <laughs> I I go to training and I I some things about like just in general with dogs you don't learn until like I would never learn that this stuff could actually happen like a dog and stuff like that like it's amazing what these dogs are capable of it's amazing. Could you briefly uh, tell us uh, about what a Saluki is? Um, a Saluki is um, it's a desert bred a desert bred dog which um, he's bred to chase after and hunt down animals. So um, he would chase like gazelles and rabbits and most animals, small animals, um, and bring them back to their masters. But these dogs are extremely fast. They can run 
close to, mm -hmm. most of them can run 40, 40 to maybe even top, like faster than that miles per hour, and it's crazy. Um, he's, I think he reached close to 35, and his mother reached, was the, the champion uh, for, I think, the world for a little bit of time, and he, she reached close to like 42, 43, something like that, which is really, really good. So. The Saluki is a rare breed, I'm gonna. Yeah. It is. It's um, addressed uh, Logan. Uh, Logan, can you tell us what, uh, tell me more about this breed? Well, my breed is called the uh, Egyptian Greyhound and it came from Egypt. They were used as like royal breed dogs for all the Egyptians, they're ancient dogs. Very nice, to basically like a cat, so. They're very lazy like a cat, <laughs> very, very lazy. But when, they, when they're driven, like if they see a cat or a dog, uh, another cat, or like a, a rabbit or something like that outside, they'll go crazy, so. Logan, this is a very rare breed, isn't it? Yes. You don't see many Salukis around town. No, we don't. We're probably like the only two, there's probably about four in Massachusetts, the tops, but all yeah. around the, the whole America, like usually Salukis would hang more south, so. But yeah, we have a lot, a more down lot of friends. We have some in Maine and Rhode Island with Salukis, so. Is, it, is the breed becoming more and more popular? It, um, it definitely picked up. Yes. Last year. I think <clears throat> you two gentlemen and your family have helped to popularize the breed. Yeah, I, last year at Nationals there was 230 dogs. This mm -hmm. year there was close to 400. So it's it definitely So it's has, getting it, better. It has. Mm -hmm. And you've had a lot of fun. You've met Tell us about some of the people that you've met. You've met a lot of good friends, haven't you? Yes, well we met um Danielle. She's a Saluki breeder too. Um she's very nice and she's really good. She has a dog named Stella. She is cute and funny and all her dogs, they do very well. In this is a, like a big family celebration, yes. isn't it? Yes. Then there's Jenna, who um, she, we're also friends with from going to the uh, SCOA, Saluki Club of America thing, but. She um, lives up in Maine. Yeah. And then there's Eliza, which I've been talking to you about. She doesn't own Salukis, but she owns a duck toller. Yeah, um, she's shown unto you before so she's really nice but it, it's uh, you, you've made a lot of good friends yes we have over over the years we've met and we've learned tips and it's it like I said it's crazy how much you learn about dogs like it's crazy so. one of the things that I've become very interested in lately uh, is dock diving. Yes. This is a new sport. This is something mm -hmm. kind, it's relatively a new sport that is just gaining recognition. It has. Can you talk about, do you went to a dock diving competition this past weekend. We did. You? Mm -hmm. How was it? Well, we it went to busy. the thing, but we didn't want to enter the dogs because we weren't sure if they could like fully swim. Because sure. they're desert bred, so they're not really meant for water so when we went to our trainer Lynn's camp Lynn Prey um, we learned that they like little kiddie pools so we thought hey why don't we uh, try the Papalooza so we went um, I decided not to do it with Piper but there was so many fun things there like they had this 360 camera and we saw dogs jumping off like the furthest that they went was probably in a seven feet for max but i mean we didn't go so but we we bring them in the pool with us yeah at home and they love it so but you did go to paul palooza yes and that was an interesting experience it was more and more people i used to compete and i used to judge and i ha still judge uh in competitions for AKC related events, yes. but more and more people are getting involved in just casual, more casual activities. 
such as dock diving, lure coursing. We want to talk about lure coursing in a minute, and that's a Saluki uh, activity. But uh, people are having fun with their acti uh, um, uh, with their dogs. And yes. they don't have to be purebred dogs anymore. They don't. They can be dogs of uh, any shape, size, breed, older dogs, younger dogs. It's a lot of fun. People are having more and more fun uh, with uh, just casual activities. Can you talk about uh, which one of you is the expert on uh, lure coursing? Um, You've both competed in lure coursing. <laughs> yes, we have. Um, his dog, her, uh, Piper, actually beat out Jedi a few times. Yeah, she's that was, um, Talk about Piper. Well, Piper, um, she's good at lure coursing, but she's better at straight racing because it's only a line. But lure coursing, she's okay. She got third at the nationals. Um, she's fast, like super fast. I'm surprised that she beat out Jedi. And um, she got 26 miles an hour at straight racing. Yeah, no, that was fast cats. Uh, well. Straight racing, she got like 36. Yeah. Because it was only like 200 yards. But you've had fun with them. Yes. Okay. They, you also do rally. I Can do. you explain rally? Tell people what rally is like. Rally is a form. It's it's a form of obedience training wrapped into a course that they built. So they'll have it's a course usually around twenty signs, and on the signs they'll have something like a sit and or a down or something like that, and you have to have your dog sit and lay down and stuff like that and then you move on to the next one and there's more signs like and it's it's a group thing like you have to learn like it's what you have to do w with your dog like it's if he's not if there's a day where he's not feeling well then don't even try it because he's just not gonna he's, he's not, not gonna, gonna perform well yeah just do it on a day where you guys are both really good because then he'll he'll perform and he did that at nationals he's re he was doing really well at nationals and he, he got first for his class so but it's, it's a time sport. You have two minutes to complete 20 signs. And um, it's another another form of obedience and training, um, which they do. So You started, I know you started with rabbits. I did. I started mm -hmm. in 4-H with rabbits. It started in, did you have rabbits too? Yes. And. You don't do rabbits anymore. We don't no. do rabbits but anymore. But you have them, don't you, still? No. Uh, we, we ended up giving most of them away, but um, we we had close to 32 at one time for, for doing 4-H. So, so you are our pet-loving family. <laughs> oh, yes. we, have a ton, we have tons of animals. And, what, and, and now, uh, Luke, you are into horses. I am. I've been into horses for about eight years now. And what do you talk, you go to a barn in Rochester? Yep. And what do you do there? Um, well, um, over the summer I work there and I, I get, there's a camp that go on there where I get to work with the kids on horses and um, then there's like pony rides and stuff like that. But then there's some other things where you get to, where I just get to work and learn like tricks of the trade where I get to drive the tractors or I get to when the blacksmith comes I get to learn how to do stuff like that or when the guy who comes to clean their teeth and it's just a great experience over the summertime and I've I've been doing it for the past four years and I, I love going there um, but then I also ride every almost every week and um, it's it's a great experience and then I also show when I when I'm have free time, not with dogs and stuff like that, and um, it's a great, a great experience. And you are a student at Bristol uh, Aggie. I am. And uh, that's a great experience as well. It is. And uh, so you people both, you gentlemen, are very actively involved with pets. <laughs> yes. Yes. What would, uh, could you uh, give a demo, give us and show Jedi what, to look for in a uh, show dog? Well, what you want to look for is um, like 
in a dog, you want them to have a nice back. You want their feet to be like a little bit out and like their feet to be close together. So, and straightforward, I mean, and show Luke shows Jedi. So, yeah. you both work very life. diligently. Omar, do you work daily with your dogs? I do. Yes. Training, uh, training is training them daily? Training is every day for at least a half an hour a day. So, and I think that's why that attributes to your great success. It, it's You've worked hard, but you've part, gotten some great ribbons and things. It's a partner sport. It's, it's it really is. So, so this has been fun. So, uh, what what's Logan? What aspect of showing dogs do you like best? Do you like to go to the to the shows? Do you like to travel? Um, my favorite is like showing because I mean. People think like it's just about winning, but no. Um, when you put a dog in a ring, you want to make sure that you and your dog are like having fun together. This isn't like a full-blown competition. Like if you get second place, you'll flip out. But um, yeah, mostly I want to have fun with Piper and Jedi as much as I can for when like I go in the ring another time. Like they can. N not have to worry about anything and that's what I see in other people like they just go in the ring and like they have fun they don't even care if they win or lose they just go in the ring and they have fun with their dog so that's like my favorite that's part. That's the main goal with our family is to have fun. The main goal is to have fun. It is. And that is something that I that my parents instilled in me when I showed dogs 35 or th almost 40 years ago. Wow. And it was fun. And my, my remember my mother saying, if it's not fun, we're not doing this anymore. Yep. You have to have a good time. You've got to okay. enjoy it. And you've got to like the dogs. Yes. Do you belong to any clubs? Um, yes, we do. We belong to the Saluki Club of America. Yeah. Isn't that held by um, Celeste? Yes, it's it's held by another girl who owns Smooth Salukis. Um, but basically, like when we go down, for instance, to the Big E, we have all of our friends come down that are local. And we have like a little club there, and then when we go down to the nationals, it's the huge club, and then there's uh, Empire Saluki Club too. Yes. Which is, I think, when we go down to Saluki Splash in a couple weeks. Mm -hmm. So. I know your your mom has told me about the Saluki Splash. That's a really fun event, isn't uh, it? It is a really. What's fun that event. like? Um, so the Saluki Splash is in um, Pennsylvania. I think it's in Pennsylvania. Yeah, and uh, yes. it's basically just another huge show where everyone comes down from all over the place and shows their dogs, and it's great. Um, we get to meet different breed, like different colors of these dogs, and it's it's amazing. With like, we have people like they just mm -hmm. there's sometimes in the ring where there's like 20 people just for one class because that's how many dogs come down because it's just a great chance to get points on your dog, to get titles on your dog. It's, it's amazing. But and you have a lot of fun. Yeah. And you get tired, and you, when you get home, you all crash yes. and, and go to sleep for a few days. Yeah. But it's a lot of fun. Many, you know, I have uh, judged junior showmanship Yes. For 20 years or, or longer. And uh, met some very, very wonderful, wonderful young men and women over the years to show their dogs. What would you suggest people do to get involved in the sport of dogs? Um, well, I think they should have a strong bond with their dog and just be able to keep calm with them in all situations. I mean, 
Um, I make friends with a lot of people because of who they are with their dog and like how calm they can be even though like they lose as I said earlier like it's not about winning so that's what I mainly see in my friends like there's um, but it's a good icebreaker yes. too to meet people isn't it yes and the breeds too I love meeting new breeds when I go to shows like breeds that now, now they're coming out with a whole bunch of new breeds too uh, it's just crazy to see them at That's shows. Scary. <laughs> it, it, it is a little scary. That, that that is scary because there are so many breeds that I have to look at the guidebook yeah. <laughs> before I go to a dog show. Yeah. When I'm going to judge, because I have I don't know a lot of the breeds. I have never seen them. Yeah. There are 187 or 88 breeds registerable now by the American Kennel yep. Club. When I started, there were 130 or 140. Wow. So it's really, really changed. What would you suggest though? If somebody wants to go show dogs, what are some things they should do? Um, well, you got any ideas? Um. But Should they join a, a, a like a kennel club? That that would be the first thing is to join a club, get used to showing dogs, and then I when it comes time, you can either show I like I show other people's dogs for them too. But you get a dog to show whether it's yours or not, and just go into just go to like a a fairground or something like that, a, a small show, and just get them in the ring, get them used to the ring, get yourself used to the ring, and just have fun, and then. Then work your way up from there, and you learn tips from trainers and people that are there, and something even like duck diving is fun. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. and you don't have to invest a lot of time and money. You don't. It's it's a very fun type of activity. That should be fun. It is. There's also our um, rally trainer Cotton. Yes. She works at Cotton the Silver Silverman. Suit. Is yes. local. Yes. There are some very good local trainers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we do. We're, we go to a couple of uh, training centers. We go to uh, Lynn Prees, and then we go to um, Prees, yeah. Silver City uh, Training Center. With Cotton, and yep. then we sometimes we go back to Lynn Prees with Linda Prezio. Yeah, we do. Um, For we do lessons. And so time. you get to meet, and, and you get exposed to a lot of different. Uh, individuals who have a lot to ta uh, a lot of talent yes. to share. What do you plan to do with your career? Your your dog career? Would you like to become judges eventually? I I, I personally want to become a fr professional handler. That's been mm -hmm. as one of my goals. Um, and you are well on your way to <laughs> being very successful. Well, thank you. I mean, it's it's definitely I've I've been doing it for the past two years now and it's it's a lot of work. It's a lot, a lot of work to get but to the point that I'm at. And it's challenging, but there are many rewards. Yes. Do you like showing other people's dogs? I do. It gets And they don't have to be necessarily Salukis. They don't. Um I get to show other different breeds and it's good to it's on. also good to to know other breeds too because then you get to learn the standards of those breeds. How do you study other breeds? Hi Jedi. How do you study other breeds? Um I I learn from other people actually. They tell me um What are some other breeds that you've uh, handled? Um I've handled Labs, uh Newfoundlands and um Salukis. So very, very you've also good. done uh, And they're fun. They are. Joe's Have you dog. handled any other breeds? Um, not that I can think of. I've handled one of Linda Prezio's breeds last year. Oh, the year. Cocker Spaniels? Um, no, Linda Prezio's, the Borzoi. Oh, I've the handled Borzois. Yes. I've done Cocker Spaniels, too, and I've helped with Franny, the bull French Bulldog. That's always fun. Mm -hmm. That's a very nice breed, I too. I love French Bulldogs. 
Maybe your parents will get you a Frenchie someday? That's what I want to get. I want to get a French Bulldog. They're so That's a fun tiny, breed. Cute. Yes. There's a, they're an interesting breed. I don't know. I, I think the Salukis are amazing. I'm going to keep with the Salukis because all the colors, combinations, and then you have smooths, which is another. This guy um, is called, he has, uh, what is it? Like, I don't, it's not fur, but it's like he has, what's the coat that they call him? Sable. No, that's his color, but Red. he has, he, no, he has, a, he has a special kind of fur that they have. And then there's smooth, which is basically like a very dense. Oh, feathered? Fe yeah, feathered and then there's smooth. And uh, smooth is basically not like this. It looks like, it's very, they look very shiny in the show ring. So, and they, they don't have. They have a very sleek coat. Yes, and they there. don't have the ear feathering like he has. And they don't have the, the, the uh, hair on his tail like that. But. It's definitely How do you colors. care for for a Saluki? They're very easy. They're um, I mean they're, they're like the typical dog. Uh, uh, you run them. You try to run them at least once a day, in our backyard, just to keep up with their exercise and their fitness because of loop coursing and stuff like that, and just to keep them in shape. Um, and then, feeding wise, they all get their same food um, that they ha that they have, and then they have um. The snuds that they put on them, that you put on them every day, which just protects their, their ears. So, but other than that, they're just a typical, really good dog. So, they're lazy, but they're really good dog. Do you take them out for walk every day? I, I try to. I try to just to get them acclimated to other people, other dogs, new areas to see. And you so. take them to training classes. How often? Twice a week. Twice a week. Yes. And then next week, we're going to be going back to Lynn Prays for, she's having a summer camp. We went one week already, and this Talk last week that. of the July. Well, um, basically, Lynn Prey, she's in Rehoboth. Yes. She's in Rehoboth, yes. Um, and, and I'd like to get her on the show at some point. Yes. Lynn well, is a very experienced English Cocker Spaniel breeder. She has some really, really nice yes. show. English, English Cockers that are beautiful dogs. Yes. And tell us about Lynn's training camp there. Well, she does lots of obedience to get the dogs in, like, shape for, like, when you're on a walk, you always want your dog to be friendly next to someone and be able to obey your command. So we do obedience classes with her, and... We also do some handling, like practices. We take walks. We have fun. We eat. We um, cause lunch is always important. Yes, lunch is my favorite time. And we also do fun crafts, like we color on papers about uh, things we need to know about your dog, and we draw a picture of your dog. Tell us more about your dog. What breed it is like what color and well it's fun for all the kids Very I good. suggest anyone who has a dog that can be shown comes cuz it's a lot of fun I went there last year I wasn't sure what was gonna happen and well I guess we are wrapping up but it has been a pleasure you will be brought back at some point because you have both been very very interesting and we've had fun Thank you very much for joining us today, uh, and we hope to see you very soon. Thank you.